Today, I'm bringing you yet another video about cabinet IRs, and it's a rather unusual cab. This is a Mesa Boogie Mark III combo amp. It's a 1x12, and the amp has been removed from the top, leaving a big gap as well as the open back. So it's a very open cab, and it's an unusual speaker that I haven't seen before called Black Shadow, which was made by Electro Voice for Mesa Boogie, and it's a pretty cool, very very mid-forward sound. They're rich in character. What exactly is an IR? I've already put out some other videos on it. There's a million out there. Probably most of you watching this already know, but if you don't, an IR, an impulse response, is a snapshot, a, a capture of a speaker, or it can be a room or a hardware reverb unit, a number of things. And this amp also has a spring reverb, so I will be putting out another video shortly with uh, IRs I made of that spring reverb, which is a little different process. But for capturing the speakers, it's a pretty simple process of hooking up a solid state power amp that is a clean and neutral sounding amp, as well as a little blip of white noise that gets run through the speaker. It makes a little pop in the speaker. The mic captures that. Your mic choice and your mic positioning, as well as the speaker and everything else in the setup in your signal chain is going to affect how the IR sounds. If you do it right, you can get it to sound essentially identical to how the speaker sounds if you were recording through it uh, in real time. Powerful technology, but a very simple process. And it's relatively affordable and easy to do. And you can check out my other videos, I'll link them up there um, on how I do that. But uh, today I'm just gonna show you some clips of how I recorded this cab and uh, we'll listen to how it sounds and you can as always download my IRs on my Discord channel. So let's take a look at it. For this process I used just an SM57 because it's the best mic ever made in my humble opinion um, for guitar captures, at least for metal tones I think. Uh, it's my personal favorite mic of all the fancy mics I've tried in different IR packs. There's some other cool stuff out there, don't get me wrong, but um, the 57 is the classic. And that's what I have here. So I used that and I started at the center of the dust cap, the very center of the speaker, and I moved it um, off about half inch increments. And for this one, I also did off axis captures with the same mic. I didn't go all the way to the edge of the speaker because I think it gets sort of unusably dark, at least with an SM57. So I kept it from the dust cap to, I guess about maybe three or four inches off the center of the speaker. And that provided some pretty useful IRs. I didn't make a ton of them here, but one thing I did differently than I have before is I actually captured some distance IRs. And these aren't things that I really use for metal guitar, but they can be kind of cool. And if you want a room sound, well, I had it. It was also just a cool experiment, especially because this is such an open cab. And I find the more open the cab, the more it can have some kind of cool interactions with the room. So I recorded it, all of the normal IRs right up on top of the grill. And then I did a six inch and a one foot back distance capture. Uh, nothing too long distance, but a foot away is about as much as I think you would usually need. Uh, and then I also did one from behind, uh, a rear cab capture, which sounds cool, I guess. 
I don't really know how useful it would be in a production, in a mix, but um, but it's there, and you can hear how the back of this cab sounds. That's um, pretty much all I have to say on this one. It's fairly simple, but you can judge for yourself. I will say these are all very mid-focused and uh, very aggressive in the mids, which is cool and might be useful for blending with some other IRs, but I think they have a cool character, and, and despite how open the cab is, um, I don't hate the sound of them. So I hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching. Um, please like and subscribe to support my uh, ridiculously excellent YouTube channel. And go on over to my Discord linked below where you can download these IRs as well as several others from some less unusual speakers, um, which might be more useful. But these are fun too. As well as um, I will have an upcoming video on the spring reverb from this unit, which is pretty cool. And I'll be putting out an IR of that, so stay tuned for that and for more similar things in the future. That's all I have to say. Thank you for watching. I'll see you later.